Welcome back to the violent end of Duncan Malvane. Last episode, which was the beginning of the violent end. It wasn't a violent beginning. Uh, I don't know where I'm going with that joke. Left off saying I was about to go up and investigate the theatre. Um, I guess I probably should probably do it again. No one is supposed to come in here, right? So it's... I don't know if it's locked or guarded. Uh, I guess we'll find out. It doesn't sound guarded, right? <sighs> Chalk outline of the body. I mean, that's... that's Blood stain soaked into the boards. Okay, this is this is where Duncan met his violent end, I guess. Anything else in the theater that's relevant? So we have heavy sandbags. Ground here. The catwalk is above, so it could have easily been a sandbag dropped onto his head, right? Check out the catwalk in just a minute. I can't see a damn thing in here. Well, nobody else is in here, so let's turn on the lights so we can look to see if there's any other clues we might be missing. There's a upper gallery as well we don't get to from here. I guess that's, yeah, first floor entrance. So it might be relevant. Let's check out the catwalks. Well, none of that's none of that's like wooden surface, right? None of that we can stick a rope arrow in. Don't think. Let's let's do the test. I'm not rope arrows are so precious. We can. Cool. What? Oh, we have a queen of diamonds. What's this? Oh, stage lighting. Okay. Queen of hearts, rather. We can turn the stage lights off. Doesn't seem to be anything else of interest up here. Let's pick out the upper gallery then. Some more sandbags, actually. Okay, uninteresting. Okay. And it was the graveyard scene. How appropriate. I'll leave the lights off when we leave. Wait, is it actually locked? <coughs> it's guards outside. It's not actually locked. Okay, well, there doesn't seem to be anything uh, of interest up here. <laughs> Can I get onto my rope without, uh... Yes. Without killing myself. Alright, so we have a body and a blood stain, and that doesn't really tell me anything. Well, he was killed... In the theatre, under the catwalk, in front of the graveyard, backdrop. It doesn't, doesn't give me anything to go on. Fair enough, well, I'll leave that open. Alright, so now we should head up to the ground floor, I think, to check it out. Should probably head. Hmm. This barracks. But, um, it's not probably not a very bad place to be. Where's the security room on this floor? Yeah, if we come up that way, we're near the security room. And we haven't explored there yet. So if I sneak past this watcher again, and then readjust which watchers are on...
Come here. You saw nothing. What the fuck? I was not expecting a banner to go clang. I hope the guard didn't hear it, because that was... That gave me it right. Okay, so we got a secret door. Interesting, secret passage. Excellent. Um... That's definitely worth marking. People? Gives us people to under the theater. Over here. It's the sound that plays every time we pick one of these up. Is that? Or is that just the sound we're hearing from elsewhere? Maybe it's just the sound from elsewhere. It's annoying. I'm gonna come over here to read this because it sounds annoying. In these pages, I, Gregor Malvine, do now commit to writing the truth of how I came into my wealth and power, and the price I have paid for it, damning my immortal soul. If I could only go back to that day I found the idol, it seems so long ago now. I would turn around and go far, far away, leaving my curiosity behind. You who read this know that a simple life is better, that no power or riches are worth the weight of a curse upon you. The heathen gods are devils, one and all, and their promises are twisted lies. As I hide the keys all throughout this house, I shall set down my tale of misery, so that others might never follow in my cursed footsteps. So where does this come out? This isn't... This is a change of plan from... Okay, you got me. Uh... Oh god, that gave me a shock. Ah, jump scare. I, I was not expecting a jump scare at all in this mission. Uh, I just thought it was like some squeaky machinery. Whew. Even though there's like the dramatic chord when it's just it kind of undermines it. Uh, you know, it's still fun. Alright. Hello, so we have... Ace of Hearts. Okay, I don't know where I am right now. I'm still hearing some squeaking, right? Right, there's a hallway on the ground floor. This must be hallway two here, right? Yeah, so let's mark the X, uh, a little to the left of that. Well, knowing it's there, we can look for the lever on the other side. And that peeks onto the bath house, the bath place. Ah, uh, click. That's what I was trying to do, get out of there. And does this passage go up another floor or is it just high? I believe it's just high. Yes. Alright. Well, that was a discovery worth discovering, I guess. Back to my plan A, which is, let's go change which watches are on and off so we can move around more freely. Alright. Firstly, reset them all. Now, which ones do I want off? I know X equals secret passage, but i X on top of the watches as well. Uh, we want number six off, for sure. Right, 
Probably number four. I haven't actually explored this little corner, so if there is any loot in that corner, I would be interested to go there. Uh, number five is Orc of Access. Just thinking maybe I should come back this way. Up there, yeah. So let's turn off these ones. Let's leave them one and two. One and two can stay on, and we'll turn off three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's going back past this guard, but... Maybe he wants to come back. Oh, he's going to go to that room, right? I mean, I could, of course, explore... Up the way. Do we see a people on this side? It's kind of here, wasn't it? We don't. That goes up to the courtyard. Oh, it's noisy. Wow, okay, nice architecture on this place. Very detailed, I like it. I'll admire it more later. Right, so where does he, he comes back up and forth, up and down here, right? And he goes into the servants' room, I think. So when he comes back, we'll go in that door that he's come out of. Some rock and plank. I don't think there's anything there. Oh, there's a light switch. I should have turned the lights up in here. I mean, I kind of think they turn them back on, which is, you know, quite reasonable for them. Unreasonable from my point of view, but no. I guess you can't always have guards. Working to maximize the convenience. Oh, it's this, this guard friend, okay. You can't always have guards working to maximize the convenience of uh, thieves. Some of the time, sure, just not all the time. Did I go in these rooms? Yes. It's a wine cellar. That's the kitchen. No. So the room before the kitchen, there's a boiler room, which I'll we'll follow our guard friend here into the kitchen. Next is where we came in. You know what? That's a that's a hazard. So we could put out the boiler. Oh, that's right, I forgot he stopped his stands here. I should have just gone straight to the kitchen. We could be dousing flames in the boiler, but we could also be burning things in the boiler, maybe. Yeah. Leave the boiler alive for the moment. Yeah, no. Tough life being There's okay. noise about then. Nobody. What would anybody be noising about? Oh, look, she's taking the knife down again. And turn the lights back on in the kitchen. Okay, I forgot we got the dumb waiter as well. Um, this is fine. I don't want to use it. <clears throat> I heard something. Well, that's the stairs. Oh. We're gonna need to. I'm gonna explore the barracks and dungeon, and I don't know where this guard patrols. The answer is not conveniently for us. Not 
convenient at all. We might have to do a uh, let's get ready in case he spots us, but Alright. Seems okay. And he goes to go he goes all the way down the hole. Alright, that's fine. That's convenient. So here's this little barracks. Hello, five diamonds. And one more broadheads. Walks past, she doesn't come down into the back. What's that? She's just kind of falling asleep on his chair there. What's there? <laughs> a hairbrush on his back. Alright, and this is a torture chamber, right? A dungeon, rather. Maybe a... Read it. I mean, he's got a lot of cells for, uh, keeping Mishkins in for, uh, Noble, right? Why would a Noble have such a big dungeon? This Seems oddly suspicious. Four locks on the one door. All right, that's hello. Some boards we can pick off. Gently, yeah, put them down gently. Okay, that's of interest. Did he come in here or not? It's like we just close ourselves in the cell and now, we've, now we find this lock behind us, right? No, he's not coming in here. Alright, we'll check out those locks in a minute. Mostly just check out the other cells, hello. It's a bed nine! I even used my winnings to buy back the old tower that used to be my grandfather's, and a lot more land besides. I had plans drawn up for a grand mansion, and with the idol by my side was able to procure the best deals from architects and construction firms. Yet I became paranoid that someone might find out the truth about the idol and steal it. I had a special shrine built in the dungeon beneath my grandfather's old tower. Ostensibly it was a vault for the winnings of my endeavours at gambling, and it was sealed with an ostentatious sequence of locks and keys in the shape of a standard set of playing cards. To the casual observer, it would appear to be a little folly of an eccentric rich old man. Little would anyone know the true value of the treasure housed within. All the while, I felt the idol like a malevolent presence looking always over my shoulder. Wait, the vault is here? I thought, I thought we'd, the vault was marked at the top. That's the clock tower. Vault. Second floor. It was a different vault. Is then... The other map is not kind enough to show me which one this is. This is the northwest room. So... Is this the vault we need the cards for? I mean, there's a lot of cards, right? We can't pick these locks, I see. Hmm. Yeah, okay, there's four... Oh, hello. Clubs, diamonds, hearts, spades. Hmm. 
like we've got we've got some clubs, some heart diamonds, right? But it's not going to be all of them. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Garrett. Hmm. Very helpful commentary. Oh, God, friend. Who's coming back now? Let's just chill in this nice room waiting for him, shall we? We'll go back and check out that one. I know what's going on. Never included in anything. Last person I know. I'll tell you what's going on. You are about to be fired for letting a thief wander through the building. Unheeded, unchecked, unslaughtered. Alright, can't see much in here, but we can uh, stick a rope in there for sure. <laughs> Hopefully, climb up on it. really don't know. I can't actually stand on here well enough to stick a rope in here. That's awkward. It means I probably can't jump, right? <laughs> oh well, I did not hurt myself. Let's try a rope in that beam. Garrett, climb on the beam, please. Oh, this is awkward. Was this even tested? How are you supposed to... How are you supposed to get out of here? Thankfully, it's not so high that I am taking full damage, so... It's like... This is fiddly, it's overhanging. This is only supposed to be a way down, not up. This is... This is, ugh, this is extremely awkward. I can't properly stand on this ledge. I can't... Mantle... On there at all. Alright, fine. We'll leave the hatch at the top open. We'll mark it with an X there. I guess we've got the door to the basement, right? It's a door to the basement. We can treat that as an escape route if we want to. Oh, getting over there is awkward too. Wait for him to get past and then just duck down behind him. Alright, go back to our first plan. Get into the ground floor this way. Ooh, big chunky one unit stairs. Wooden floor, okay, hello, that looks different from the other plates, so well, maybe they're all valuable. Extremely high up on the walls, but thankfully Garrett has longer arms than the law, as they say. Alright. More hairbrushes. It's the guard downstairs I'm hearing. Question is, how, does, does he actually come up here? I don't know. This is a dining room. We want to head west out of here. So that way.
No valuable candles. Oh, there's valuable plates. Is someone there? Nope. Oh wow, lots of guys coming through here. Alright. Well, lucky for me, this corner is uh, where it is. And in case I was in any doubt that they turned the lights back on, now I know for sure. Good, good, fair enough. And there's a guard in the direction I was wanting to go. I guess it worked out alright. If I headed out that way sooner, he probably would have walked straight into my. I probably would have walked straight into my face. Ah, he brought. I probably would have walked straight into his face. You know what I mean. Lights off. Okay. Why can I hear fire crackling here? That's very, very odd. Uh, the theatre, blah blah, we've read that same notices as posted down below. Okay. A little concerned about that chair, but... In case a guard comes in here, I mean, it's possible that guard comes in here, right? Okay, two thirds, we've got only four watchers in this. Right, so how many is two thirds? Three of them. Three quarters, really. But we can have three of them turned off. We've looked briefly into... Excuse me. The front gate room. Oh, we see. They, they turn off more... One, two, three, four, five, six. There's so six watches. So we're going to have three watches turned off, right? So when I did one, two, three... We're going to have four watches turned off. Sorry. Four out of six. So I can't do two, three... If I do two and three, then I can't do any more, right? No. That's five watches. Uh, Alright, so let's leave number one on for the moment. Let's turn off two, three, and four if we can do that. Whoops. Let's check up here. Is this a hatch? That does not appear to be a hatch. Uh, okay, so... Mark the ones I've turned off for the moment. Maybe there's a fireplace above and the room brush connects. Gallery. Nice noisy floor in there, I think. Where did the guard go? Is he... He's probably in there and I should probably make my move now, but... I'm hesitant. Nope. Oh, he's coming. Get some of those fancy mechanist lights. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I cannot have you doing that. Did not. That's not really the best spot for it. I can't have you coming in here, turning off the lights while I'm in here. While I'm standing right here. That sucks. Well, you know... Means will be less. Okay, calm down. Nobody there.
Who's making those noises? Oh, please. Who's in charge here? I'm going to fall and hurt myself. Thanks, that was close. God, these people turning the lights on all the time is... Very unhelpful for a uh, thief. Where are we? This is the old tower. Okay. Man, well, like broken furniture here. Didn't just like take it down to the basement. Is he just wandering at random, or is he going around in a circle, or what? <clears throat> Salt, vegetable oil, hello. Dear Mr. Levitt, thank you for your visit on Tuesday evening and for your continued patronage. I have spoken to my typesetters and implemented the changes you requested. Please find the first batch of posters and our invoice enclosed. If I can be of any further assistance, please do not hesitate. Ask. Yours sincerely, Evan Carothers. Carothers Printworks. P.S. Thank you for the sample of your miracle cream. My wife has been using it each night before bed and she's never looked better. Buy Victor Levitt's miracle cream. Put your doctor out of business. The strongest and best cream for immediate relief from... Rheumatism, neuralgia, sciatica, lumbago, toothache, sprains, swelling, tail loss, animal bites, backache, chill blades, bruises, sore throat, women's hysteria, and much more. Prepared by Victor Levitt, expert drugologist. Available from your local druggist. Ask your doctor about Victor Levitt's miracle cream. I could have the goop that smells suspiciously like urine. Hello, we have you know, clubs. Alright. I guess out of all the cars, there's only one. Oh, this gets us to the second floor then. First floor. I mean, I'm counting American Way, which is unusual. I mean, it's usual for Thief Missions to be counting the American Way. Alright, so this is really connectivity for the whole for the entire map. Because that's the roof. Oh excellent. Is that guard on the rooftop I'm hearing or is the guard down below? Oh, there's guards in the towers, okay. That guy definitely sounds like he's down below. Does not sound like there's anybody up here. Some boards, I just thought they might be covering up something for a minute, but apparently not. Okay, this all... Wow, okay, this is really cool. Being out on the rooftops, looking out of the, top, the whole building. Very cool. All right. Hello. So an ace of diamonds. So first ace. Yeah, that's the guy that I was hearing. You will probably see us here. Wow, this place is enormous. Very cool that you can look out over the whole whole building, all the rooftops and everything. Man, 
ridiculously fancy chimney pots everywhere. Actually, they're not even chimney pots, they're just tower, they're just, like, little ornamental, uh, towers. Chimney pots would make sense. Well, actually, the chimneys in this place don't make sense. Look, that one's below the roof line. Chimneys don't work that way. At least not well. What's this? Just a... Thing. Okay, so we could definitely get some more of the rooftops from here if I wanted to. And I guess this floor is a rooftop level, right? Oh, hello. That heart shaped thing there looks suspicious. Oh, uh, spades. Diamonds. Statues with bells. Clubs. Am I hearing somebody downstairs? I think I'm hearing somebody downstairs. So... Aha! Uh -huh. I see. Oh, we had an ace of hearts, so two aces. Uh, hearts. Queen. Right, this is how the, the lock works. So we put all of them, we find all of them, we put them all in. Hmm. Then, uh... Then that will presumably unlock. Hmm. Right, that's all the cards I've got right now, then. I see. There's a little bell or something in each statue corresponding to. I don't know, presumably that's either going to produce a key, lift up and reveal a key or something once all the cards are in place. Or it'll directly unlock the thing, but probably it'll just give us a key. Okay. So this merely says, okay, we're at the third floor, right? So let's note that here. Hard locks. There's our guard friend. It's a little too bright out here, but for my liking, but not so bright that we're going to be Easily spotted. Oh wow, so we've got a lot of... That's noisy. A lot of rooftop we could theoretically get to. These overhangs are a little annoying for mounting. <laughs> so it can sometimes prevent successful mantles altogether. So I had intended to... Um, you know, explore methodically, but maybe this is way more fun. So the training dummy from this distance looks like a guard in that tower too. Wow, okay. This place has amazing construction. Very, very cool. Uh, that gets to the library. Ooh, we should try and get down to the south there to that vault room, right? So that lets us... Where is, where is he going? He's 
Can we go through this way? Uh, the vault control room. The control room will let us turn off all the watches everywhere, and that would be very nice. So, I wouldn't mind having the opportunity to do that. One guard walks away, and another one arrives. When guard opens a window, guard also opens a door. Or something. When guard opens a door, he closes a window of opportunity. Is that you? Got the wind I got. Can't ever really see me. Gonna see me at the door there, aren't they? Hope not. Hmm. Seems peaceful enough now. One more muscle. This did seem like a good place to uh, vault door. You know what? Shit. No, he didn't wake. Door lights, vault lights, vault camera. So on or off? Still here, watcher, and I'm out of. I don't know what's on or off here. Okay, up is definitely off. We saw the light. We saw the lights going off there. Oh, there's the vault control. I don't know the vault code, so I can't actually get in here yet. Extremely sensitive watcher there. Without knowing the vault code, it's going to be hazardous. And dang it, if I need another moss here for me to come up this way. Alright, I'll wait till the watch is turned away. Well, there we have the vault. Guess what? This is not where I wanted to be, but I guess we head east into this security room. Because uh, anything else seems a little foolish at this point. Ah, that of course is what we're here for. Hmm, the electric floor looks problematic. Ooh, more metal. There's a guard patrol in here. Guard enters the room, but doesn't seem to patrol. I can see something on the wall there as well. I see, that's the that's the vault camera, is that watcher inside there? Okay, and north from here 
Just north. Question mark. Mm. Over there. Stand forth and declare yourself. You'll be full of holes soon. Don't think you can hide for long. Oh, I think I could hide for quite long. That's it. You've had it. Oh, he saw me. And fight me! Fight me like a man, you sneak! Silly, but uh... come into the open and try that again. How do you? It's pitch black. <sighs> That's it. You had it. You dog me. I'll find you. Damn you. Fight me like a man, you sneak. All right, look. Take that. Finally. I think nobody will see you two back here. Oh wait, there's another doorway. Somebody could come in. I don't know why he was, uh, I was not able to knock him out in the dark, but whatever reason, I wasn't. Right, well... Slight skew of land, but... God, God, they didn't even wake up. Well, that mean the vault area should be safer now, so I guess that's something. light bright. It doesn't look like it should be that bright. Oh, we've got another dining room, right? Banquet hall, yeah. Um... Oh, it's showing me the wrong floor. Oops, we're above the banquet hall. We're, uh, here. I don't know why it's showing me the ground floor. It shouldn't be. That's... that's to map mistake. Okay, we've got one watch to get past to get to the security room. And I don't know how many guards. <sighs> oh. Well. So he came down from, he saw me from up there, you know what, I think I want to be where they won't walk in on me, even if they heard me clumping around on this floor here. I remember the healing potion I picked up, well actually we've got lots of food, let's eat, let's eat food he says. Not noticing he has a bloody uh, arrow highlighted. Arrow not highlighted, let's eat food. Let's chew on all the food. Come out here, I dare you! 
Oh, he's upstairs, that's okay. Did seem to alert a couple of guys there, so... Hmm, broke my legs, let's eat some carrots to make up for it. Maybe it's just a sprained ankle, everyone knows sprained ankles is fixed by carrots. Okay, we're... I think that's max health anyway. Maybe I wasted some there, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, you tapper. I'll find you. Well, they're still riled up. Quality tapping here. Let's go, the security room, he says. Bonk. Uh, I mean, we're on the ground floor now. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get back up from the ground floor easily. Uh, I'm here now, uh, hereby officially annoyed with this awesome map marking places I've been because I've not actually explored any of them, I just put my head in. I guess I explored that one. But haven't been in the Winter Garden. That. Alright, that's the room that was very rightly lit. And I know there's a guard patrol in there. There's a ladder from there down below. Which I guess I should mark the same way. It was this corner. I guess I can escape to the basement if I need to. In the basement. But I guess I could go from here. I turned off this, right? I could go back through the gallery. And then there's a guard who comes and stands there, and I guess he's this one. I can get back to the old tower easily enough and recover, but alternatively I could just go up the stairs, because we seem to have the major stairs here, which brings us out where I was before. So yeah, let's just head east out of here once once it seems like people have calmed down. Which maybe they have now. Okay. I don't know if anybody patrols through here or not in their ordinary course of business. I could burn some torches and make this a safer place, but... Okay. Well, they patrol up there, for sure. I could easily get back up there actually with a rope, just wooden beams. There's a guard above me. Spot. Okay. It does seem like nobody patrols the bank of hole. Oh, that's uh. It's the guy I heard who was going up above me there. Kind of come in here, he's going to turn the lights back on. And he's probably going to turn in my direction. Leaving me to head out towards the graveyard, which I guess that's the storeroom. I, that's the storeroom I know. That storeroom's a safe place. He's not coming in here. Hmm. Strange noises. Shit. Whew. A 
Bloody hell. Okay. See, this is why you ghost. Or, or you know, pseudo ghost. I don't, I'm not following ghost rules specifically, but try, this is why you try not to be detected. It's so much more terrifying. It's like knocking everybody out. It's like. You lose that delicious heart attack. Well, we have five of spares. Okay, the guard goes up and down here, but we... Oh, dear. Careful now. Don't know where he walks. That's one right at the top there. Which is the floor I want to be on, right? Because I just want to go up here. I just want to go all the way up to the second floor there. So there aren't light switches on these floors. Oh, they're so noisy. Plonk, plonk, plonk. I suppose me they can see them. So there are no light switches on these floors. If the only switches are on the ground floor, that's actually pretty good. Okay, so there's a watcher in here which I'm extremely not a fan of. I'm going to burn another water arrow. It's possible somebody comes in the security room as well. Alright, I've got an escape. Alright, let's just um, stick our nose up here. Okay, this room looks reasonably safe. Jack of Diamonds, where are we? I mean, I say it looks reasonably safe, but it does go down to the rooftop, and it's quite possible there could be a uh, guard who decides to come in there. Or there. Hello, I wonder what that does. <laughs> what was that noise? Is that a loud gravel floor? No, it's a quiet floor. Good, good. Well, that's a graveyard. But this guy actually saw us and got suspicious of us when we went to the vault. But that's alright. Uh... Oh, he's a, uh, Hammerite Believer, then. What is this? I haven't the faintest idea. Um, switch. Got a big S? I'll just put a big question mark because I don't know what it's for. Alright, I didn't hear anybody coming and going from this room, so I think we're reasonably... reasonably safe in there. I did not hear anybody come into the security room, so again, feels like 
Should reasonably okay. All right, so here we have again. We got six again. Individually numbered. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna have four of them switched off. God, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Why am I even in this room? The library would be good to get to. Um. So again, I can just turn four of them off, right? And the fifth one breaks it. Okay. So if we do... Well, we don't need that one right now. Not until we're ready to go into the vault, right? That's an easy one to avoid. We just wander around this way. And with two gals knocked out in there, they're not going to turn the lights back on. So, one... Three... Four... And five will let us traverse most of the room pretty happily. Not this area, but we can stay out of there. So we do one, three, four, five. One, three, four, five. Oops. Fuck. I'm gonna read the sign. Entrance hall we don't, and vault room we don't. Let's do that. Alright, we're near. Oh, we've got a total of 1441. We can actually, next time we're in the basement. Hit, let's go grab the sack. Fill it full of loot. Who goes there? Oh, he's moving away. Okay. Alright, where's my plan? We head north, go anti clockwise, and come back here after. Oh, that question mark is, is, is intriguing there. But that's where we got caught. That's where we got people. I'm annoyed. I don't want to go back there just yet. And I know there's a guard. Although maybe it's the guard we just saw who patrols into the banquet hall. Yeah. Armor gallery. Lots of swords on the walls. And a couple of masks. And a ladder. Oh, hello. Oh, that's the Southwest Tower. Okay. Not the guys who saw me. So, where are we? We're at the northwestern. Okay, yeah, this, is, this entrance is marked. Maybe I should have knocked out that guard, you know. Oh, that's right, let's close the hatch. For sake of sound. Let's not miss the other masks. I feel like somebody's gonna walk in on me any minute now. That's the way this house is. It's like. 17 billion guards. Hmm? Shit. That was too close. Vault security manual. In addition to the four digit code used to open the vault door itself, the following security measures have been installed. One, electrified floor plates, powered by a dedicated charge collector installed onto thy southeast tower roof in the optimal position. That's for the switches. While the electrified floor is active, thou must not under any circumstances enter the vault. The charge is quite sufficient to kill. Two, metal watcher. Watcher has been installed watching the vault door. Should an intruder be aspired, the alarm shall be sounded. Three, weight sensor. The weight of thy treasure shall keep the security systems from being activated. Should the treasure be removed, the weight sensor shall rise, and the security system shall be triggered. Okay. That's... What's the word? Convoluted? God, having to... Book of Clubs? Oh, hello. Having to have a mouse over every book to see which ones are probable and which ones aren't is kind of annoying, but... Nope. Lights off, please. That is not good enough, but this corner seems to be pretty safe. 
Lots of booze. Where are we? T. Ah, this is Lord Duncan's bedroom. So, Lady Elizabeth was not coming in here. I mean, she went into, into the bathroom, right? So she might not come through here. There's a ladder. This bedroom has a rooftop entrance as well. <laughs> is this one marked? It is. Right, that should be this one here. Northeast, no, in the northeast corner or something. Someplace. Sorry, northwest corner, yeah, yeah. So that's down to the bedroom. Okay. But what that means is. Like from south across here, we get back to the south east tower and we can turn that switch off, right? Seems worth doing. Hello. Oh, they really went to it. look at all these little brushwork. Details. It's a lot of trouble on this. Hello, six of clubs. Well, good thing I came here. Oh, is that another? Let me zoom in and then leap forward. There's another playing card. Uh, where are we looking at? We're on the western side. That's the inner courtyard then. No. Eastern side. I'm reading the compass backwards. Eastern side of the house. There's a, let's just put a. Let's go down to ground floor. There is a card here. Let's mark it. Zoom out because uh, that's making me uh, very confused. Right, so we have a guard friend there who's looking in the way, over the way, but that should not be a big problem, right? Thought I saw something. No, you didn't. Hmm. Nothing there now. Right, that should turn off the electrified floor. Unless I've flipped it an even number of times. <laughs> I don't think I have. Uh, uh, let's go back up to the roof. It seems safer than the gallery and bathhouse where I almost got caught. <laughs> what do I see there? Nothing? Oh, well. It must have been nothing. <sighs> was indeed nothing. Alright, back to Duncan's bedroom then. I'm seeing if this is Duncan's bedroom, we need to be a little more uh, thorough in searching it. In case there's any other clues in here as to who killed him. Hello? Finally, got the last of the mechanist security installed, and not exactly cheap. I've had to make some serious donations to their little order, but it won't do to miss out on such technological marvels. Besides, I can probably make back a fair bit if I let some of the guard staff go. Wonder wonder. Darcy's not exactly thrilled, but she needs to realise the hammers are yesterday's news, as does that doddery old priest Turton. The times are changing, and I for one won't be left behind. What a fine little filly Miss Crawford is. Such a voice, such a spirited woman. And her bosom, why I could just bury my face in it. I know she wants me. The way she acts so haughtily around me drives me wild with desire. 
can't let the old ball and chain see the chemistry between us. I shall woo her one night when she's practicing. I can't wait to taste her. She will be exquisite. Who's Darcy? Burton. Miss Crawford, right. Okay, so we've got a bunch of potential motives here. The wife might want to murder him. Um... Hutton. Don't know that priest. Who's Darcy? Ah, uh, that's what I'm looking for, not the map. I'm looking for my piece of paper that is the family and guest list. Is it Darcy? Is it Turton? Darcy Melvin, the eldest daughter, supported the hemorrhoids. Right, yes. So she could have murdered her dad because. He supported the uh, heretic mechanists, potentially. Elizabeth, of course, because she's getting passed over for uh, somebody who's not listed on here. So it's Turton, the priest, of course, unlikely to be thrilled about Duncan's conversion. Hmm. What was the name he, uh... Bottle of wine with a small amount left, okay. Miss Crawford. Practicing. Oh, she's the, she's the singer, right? She is on this list, yes. Bridget Crawford, okay, yes. Bottle of wine with a small amount left. Like, yes, I mean, this... This wine... Lots of clue objects, but none that so far seem to be clues. But you know, maybe that's, that's maybe that's a matter of putting two and three and four and five together. All right, if we turn the lights back on again, empty bottle of wine. Lots of empty bottles of wine, but there's a small amount left. I'm going to leave you off. Alright, well, it doesn't seem to be... Hello? God, he heard me? It's my imagination, I suppose. Because he heard footsteps in here and was suspicious, right? That makes sense. And then he concluded it was just his imagination. Alright, that's Lady Melvane. What's her name? Elizabeth. I wonder if she turns the lights on. Probably, right? It's like... It's, I understand... Why you do it. It makes it very inconvenient to move about the level if I can't turn the lights off and have them stay off. We'll see. I'll wait for it to come out and go to the gallery and then I can go into her bedroom and start seeing what miserable vile secrets she has. Maybe she's not turning lights on. That would be nice. Nope. Oh, why can't they get some decent torches around here? I mean, we've got the money. She's complaining about it, but she didn't turn them on. That's good. You know what? This is probably a good place to uh, take a break and end the episode. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.